How much extra motivation is it when you get a chance to see them? Play? Uh, it's, it's a lot of motivation. You know, I have some old buddies there, and honestly, I, I, didn't, I didn't like the way that, you know, I got let go, but at the same time, I really appreciate the opportunity. You know, it, it, was, it was definitely a blessing, but now I'm ready to start, you know, a different part of my life with the Arizona car, uh, with, with the Seattle Seahawks, and, and ready to go. People always say it's a business, but how hard is that when you go from starting to an injury to then just kind of you know, it's tough, you know, it's, it's very tough because you always think you can come back, you always think you win your spot back, and, you know, when you, we lost all those coaches, guys, the coaches brought their own guys in, and you got to know that you got to compete for your job, and, you know, they saw a, another way to win, and, you know, they made their own changes. Are those Cardinals colors on your... Uh, no, actually, this is Wisconsin. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about you. Did you get a lot of other offers afterward? Did you, did you kind of seek out Seattle? Or? Uh, you know, I, I, I had a few, but... Uh, I talked to uh, Pete Carroll uh, actually before the draft, and I knew that the Seattle Seahawks wanted me during draft time, and I thought this would be a great fit, uh, a very competitive team, a playoff-bound, Super Bowl championship-bound team, and you know, to be in the presence of guys that work hard to compete to win, you know, I thought I put myself in a good position to win a championship. You played in a 3-4 down in Arizona. They obviously run a 4-3 here, but it's a little bit you know, diverse in terms of what they do with it. How do you fit into this game? You know what, uh, I just show them what I can do and, and let them put me wherever they feel that, you know, I fit best. Uh, I think today was kind of like Spanish, you know, <laughs> learning all the new new calls and new language. But from a concept standpoint, uh, the coaches did a great job, you know, putting me in and really coaching me up throughout the play. So I really appreciate that. Pete, there were two different reports uh, about what your doctor saw when they looked at it. One report said, you know, recommended surgery, one report said no. What did your doctor respond to? Uh, they, we're still gathering the information. They, they haven't made that conclusion. That's not right because they haven't made a conclusion. So that a statement about it, yeah. So um, we're trying to wait it out, make sure we take all the time that's available and, and all of the information. So that whatever you, those reports were, they were correct. Is it really ultimately going to be Percy's decision about kind of what he no, chooses to do? Well, I don't know. I think he, well, let me say this. Eventually he has to say, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm getting surgery if I'm, I'm not. He has to okay that. If, uh, but that's all going to be with the information from the doctors. They're all working it out now and trying to get all the information. Uh, there's a lot of background work that we're doing here too. So, But it'll be doctor's recommendations. And of course, of course the patient always gets the final shot.